Feel that? That's destiny. The end of the road we've been traveling on for so long. Mothman, a, a little help? Mothman is helping. Oh no. No one's gonna help you now. Not even your robot army. They've all been disabled by a beacon I placed in your front yard. Courtyard! Didn't have to be like this, you know. You were like a brother to me once. And you... You just wanted to have it all, huh? I do have it all. Well, I know one thing you don't have. Check this out. You know what this is? No, but I can't wait to find out. It's a teleportation device. Designed to transport me instantly back to my lair from anywhere in the world. And when we get there, you're gonna share all your secrets. However long it takes, we're gonna take our time. Damn you, Salvador Juarez! <laughs> Now's not the time for talk. It's time for teleporting, baby! <laughs> I won! <laughs> well, I guess it does teleport him to his lair. Hmm. Yeah. What is that, like the third one since October? Yeah. Should probably start working on like an arsenal or something, yeah. Yeah. Let's start with one of those like quick draw gadgets, you know? Alright, All right, so we're going to start off by using this slide rail for a drawer. We only need two pieces, so we're going to cut the end off of the biggest piece so that we can slide these two out. I chose these two pieces to work with because this end comes with this catch that's going to come in real handy once we put a spring on this thing. This track needs to be removed to work on it, so what we're going to do is hold on to the ball bearing tray right here and just slide it out and then it comes loose. Now this rail actually extends a lot further than I need it to, so I'm going to remove the catch here by drilling through the rivet and then I'm going to put it a little bit further up so that it comes out to the length that I want. To reattach the catch, I'm going to use an aluminum pop rivet to fasten it through a new hole that I drilled. But before I fasten the rivet in, I remembered that I also need to put this locking mechanism piece on the back that I cut from a piece of aluminum, so I decided to save on rivets and use the same rivet to attach both the lock and the catch. Now to make this thing fire, I'm going to use one of these extension springs. I'm going to attach one end to this tab that I left off the side of the locking mechanism, and the other side is going to mount down by my wrist. But before I can attach that, I need to come up with some sort of base plate to put the whole rail on. So I decided to use a strip of aluminum to mount it onto. So I cut that, and then I cut a couple extra pieces to act as sort of like cuffs to keep it more stable on my arm. And this is pretty much how the pieces are going to go together. And here's where I think I'm going to mount the other end of the spring. But before I do that, i got to curve these cuff pieces. So to do that, I took a wooden dowel and stuck it into a vise, and then using a rubber hammer, I just beat them into the shape that I wanted. And now with those done, we can start putting this thing together. So luckily, there's just enough clearance between the two rails to fit a couple pop rivets to mount this at the back end. Uh, you don't want to put this anywhere else because anywhere else it would get in the way of the ball bearing tray. So if you put it at the very back, that'll fasten it and it won't jam anything up. And it seems to be fitting pretty good. So an issue that I ran into is this catch right here. It's a little bit too long and it stops the thing prematurely. Like the spring isn't strong enough to push it all the way to lock in the extended position. So I cut half of it off and that seemed to be enough for the spring to fire it all the way forward. 
Next we need to make the piece that's going to release the locking mechanism. Now full disclosure, I didn't uh, come up with this design. I actually saw this from an indie mogul video. Uh, they pretty much nailed the design. I couldn't think of anything better so I decided to borrow this part. I'll put a link to their video in the description if you want to check out that. So basically all it is is you cut out an L shape and then you have a pivot point at the corner of it and you put another bolt on the end and that's going to catch the hook and then when it pivots it releases it. Also you're going to want to connect a small extension spring to the release so that way you can lock it back into place easily when you want to reset it. Um, I didn't have enough surface area though on the plate so I took another piece of aluminum and just riveted a little extra on so I could get the tension that I wanted. Then to fasten it onto my arm, I'm just going to use a couple pieces of one and a half inch Velcro. And to attach the Velcro, I used a different type of rivet. I chose these ones because when they're set, they are a lot more flush than the pop rivets. And to use them, you just take one end, stick it through the other, and then use a hammer and just pound them down. And then we finally come to the most important part, mounting the Airsoft uh, toy. Apparently YouTube doesn't like uh, certain words, so I'm not going to say it. But uh, this is pretty simple. Like the rest of the build, I just took pieces of aluminum, bent them until they're in a shape I want, drilled some holes, and then riveted it onto the end. And while this wasn't too bad, it still wasn't fully secure, and I didn't want to fix it permanently, so I used a rubber band. And then to trigger the release, you just tie a piece of rope around one end, the other end's going to run to one of your fingers, then when you bend your wrist, it fires. And then the only thing left to do is to cut out some craft foam to line it to make it a bit more comfortable. To attach it all in, I'm going to use some contact cement. And if you've never used contact cement before, it's really easy. You just apply it to both surfaces you want to join together. And then after it gets uh, tacky after a few minutes, you just put them together and they instantly stick. And now we can finally try it out. you're going to want to see a demonstration with a sleeve. I had to put a different jacket on, the other sleeves weren't very accommodating. But uh, as you can see, it's entirely inconspicuous. Well, there you go.